everything through the ages. We've tried natural materials, we've tried plastics. There's one material that works extremely well on collecting dirt, and that's real rubber. You're gonna get the handheld one that you can, act, uh, that dog is actually bored, <laughs> that you can actually use directly as a pet brush on your pet, but when you start using this unique outdoor and indoor broom for your cleaning needs, you're gonna find that your cleaning time is cut in half. I wanna introduce you to a true cleaning expert. His name is John Holt. Welcome back, my friend. How Thank are you? Thank you, Dan. Very good, thanks. You work for Don Aslett. Yeah. If anybody has watched QVC for a while, Don Aslett has been a part of our family now, we're talking about almost 20 years. You got it. He started in college with a small cleaning firm that would raise a little money to pay for the tuition. Sure. That has now turned into a company that cleans 400 million square feet of office or retail space every single night. <laughs> and it's products like this that they use all the time. It, it is, you know, and it, it's fun to bring the same products that we use in a professional world to the QVC customer. Sure. Because why not give the customer the best that we use, right? Nothing different. Why, why would you want to clean your home like an amateur? Well, exactly. Now, this is something that looks a little different than your typical nylon or straw broom. This is 100% rubber. It's really soft rubber fingers. They all have a built-in squeegee on the back, which I'll show you in a little bit. And these extra wide fingers on the back, we put those on there because bakeries and restaurants use our, our brooms. They sweep flour, salt, sugar. Okay. Gets the really fine stuff. And the pet brush, it's worth its weight in gold. It comes to a point so you can get into the corners, use it right on the pet. But here, they say the proof is in the pudding. So let's, let's, let's start sweeping. Now, if you have a whole house full of hard surfaces like wood or tile, you're really going to love this because it's the softest broom you'll ever put on a hardwood floor. And if you look down here, I've, I've, I've got some golden retriever hair down here. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but watch. I'm only going to go over a couple of inches here, and I want you to take a, a look. Look at the hair oh, that I just the, gathered up. Yeah, it's a wall now. This is why hair salons all over the world have been using rubber brooms for the past 40 plus years. All that dirt, the hair, the salt, I've got sugar down here and rice. You don't miss a crumb. Here's how it works, Dan. All these rubber fingers, there's 500 of them, they come together to form a wall. Nothing can get through that. And just in case, again, we've got those wide fingers on the back. And these are washable too, okay? Now, here's where everybody is going to love it. This isn't a vacuum, obviously, but if you got pets or your Christmas tree came down, but you still got pine needles on the carpet. Yes. I've got an exaggerated amount of hair on my rug right here. I've got some rice on here. I've got some pine needles. Now, here's the difference. Instead of sweeping on a carpet, I'm simply going to brush. Short now, strokes. Short strokes. And I'll show you what happens if you don't use a short stroke. If you try to sweep the carpet, you'll get some of it, but you're going to leave a lot behind. See all that hair I left behind? Uh -huh. You want to use the rubber finger. And don't press hard. If you press hard, you're going to lay the rubber flat. You want the tips to touch the carpet. Light, short strokes grips the hair, rolls it off the carpet. You can't get a better job done even with a vacuum cleaner. Is that a steel pull? Yes, it is. Steel handle. Powder coated. Powder coated steel. How, how many simple. years ago, John, was it that you brought the original rubber top <laughs> room? This is the first item I ever demonstrated on QVC 17 it's years ago. It's been that ago. long. Okay. It has been. Okay. I, uh, by the way, I still have the original, which was a yellow handle. Right. With yellow a blue. handle. Exactly. Oh, thank you, sir. I forgot about this. <laughs> All right. Okay, listen, when I got to put on safety glasses, right. we do this for QVC safety. But okay. Th these things just do not wear out. Right. I mean, there's two inches of rubber on here. Think about it. Your car tires have a half an inch of rubber and last 50,000 miles. Okay. So, but here, if this doesn't show you how the broom works, now I'm going to just take a couple light bulbs here. Maybe you still have those glass uh, uh, ornaments that maybe you dropped one or two as you're taking your tree down. Here, I'm just going to crunch this up into a thousand shards of glass, and I'm going to make sure it gets into the grout lines too. You can see all the glass there. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sweep this area one time over here. I'm going to sweep this area one time over here. I'm going to take my hand and just rub it on the tile, even in the grout lines where all that glass was, and there's never anything left. All these rubber fingers did the work. Remember, they come together, and you see how the rubber fingers flex that gets between my fingers? That's how you sweep the grout lines out. The okay. rubber gets in the grout line, so there's nothing left. Try that with a straw broom, you wouldn't want to rub your hand on that floor. Okay. It, anyone who does any industrial cleaning has a squeegee. Most families don't have squeegees in their home. Right. Oh, yeah. Well, let's the, show you the, the squeegee. The entire reverse end of this is a squeegee. And it's, it's the easiest thing for things like cleaning up the garage floor. Yeah, I'm going to take a little soapy water here. Now, in the garage, you know, if you have a little oil on the concrete, use a degreaser, okay, or, or use the Instagon. This will scrub the concrete, could be slate. If you have mold or mildew on your, on your brick patio, now when you're done, 
flip the broom over. You've got the built-in squeegee on the back to remove the excess soap and water. How about snow? It's going to snow a couple more times this year. At least. Use this to get the snow off your car. The rubber will not scratch your paint. Okay, everybody needs a squeegee with you, realize it or not. Okay. So we've got them. Over yeah. 55,000 of this configuration have been purchased. Uh, over a million have been sold worldwide. And again, it won't replace a vacuum cleaner, but right. your vacuum cleaner can't even get pine needles off the now, carpet in most cases. Exactly. Now let me show you the pet brush, which I totally forgot about. It's, it's not like those sticky rollers or those uh, tape peelers. Right. What the rubber does, Dan, is it actually breaks the static charge that the hair has with your clothes, your furniture, your car seats. Now, before you'd ever get this much hair on you, I suggest that you use it right on your pet. And again, it comes to a point. Over here, if you come over here, I've got a little chair. Going over now, here? Again, here's your tape roller. These are okay until you run out of tape. Right. You spend half your time peeling the tape off. It did get some, sure. That's what it's supposed to do. But what I'm going to do here is just brush it right into a little pile. What I like to do is just brush it into my hand, or you can brush it on the floor before you vacuum, whatever you want to do. But there's the hair. Get rid of it. Perfect. Broom <laughs> and brush. <laughs> just like the guy. I noticed he dumped it on the floor. That's funny. <laughs> From Don Alzett, the professional cleaning company. $19.62 brings it to you. Thanks, John. Dan. Thank you, sir. Coming up. Oh. Coming up, we're going to be talking about an item that was on Shark Tank, and it's the number one best-selling Shark Tank item of all time.